Hi, the Indian markets have been quite resilient for the past entire week on account of improved macro conditions uh, in India. While there has been a global sell off in the US markets, but India has been fairly resilient, primarily on account of RBI injecting a decent amount of liquidity in the markets by means of OMO for about 12,000 crores. Uh, even the CPI inflation has gone down to about 3.31%, uh, while crude over the last one month has, uh, has gone down from 85 odd levels to about 65 odd levels. So, crude, liquidity, and inflation, all of them have come together to provide reasonable amount of stability in the Indian markets. This has been um, uh, quite resilient for the entire week, but has, has traded for about uh, 200 odd points uh, on the Nifty uh, in a very tight band. And overall, the markets have gained only about 0.29% for the uh, Indian markets for the uh, entire week. On the downside, the markets went down to about 10,440 odd levels. Whereas on the upside, it moved up uh, and uh, broke the uh, the resistance for about 10,616 and touched a high of about 10,651 odd levels. While it couldn't sustain the high, uh, the markets have closed at about 10,616 odd levels. So that's been quite positive for the Indian markets. Uh, the sectors that have performed well uh, uh, in these market conditions have been consumption, which has been up for about 1.15%. Whereas uh, the uh, the banking sector has been up for about 1.51%. Uh, the indices that didn't do well in the Indian markets, especially on account of rupee gaining strength, has been uh, IT, which has been down for about 3.01%, and pharma, which has been down for about 2.51%. So that's been the outlook for the, for the past week in the markets. In terms of technicals on the weekly charts, the markets have formed, uh, the Nifty has formed a hanging man pattern. Uh, so that uh, that amounts to indecisiveness for the indices for the past week as well as that's the outlook for the, the coming week as well. Uh, the RSI has been uh, at about 46 odd levels on the weekly charts, whereas MACD is also below the signal line. So we expect the Indian markets to be still indecisive in the coming week. Uh, on the upside, the, the, the resistance is at about 10,690 to about 10,712 odd levels which signals to about the 200 day moving average which will form a strong resistance uh, whereas on the downside the support is at about 10,520 odd levels and if the market goes down further then it will provide a support at 10,440 odd levels so we expect the tight band to continue for the coming week uh, the indian markets did see a significant amount of uh, of uh, of peace between rbi and the government and that was another reason why the markets was uh, pretty resilient in the past entire week we expect that issue to be out of the way uh, in the coming weeks uh, and hence the market looks a reasonable amount of that looks to be about reasonable amount of stability in the, in the near term for the markets however being indecisive on the charts we expect the markets to be range bound and we we would recommend a stock specific approach for the indian markets in terms of stock recommendations we have a we have a buy recommendation for vip industries the q2 results have been better than expectations for vip the stock has been correcting for about the uh, last three odd months, but recently it has taken significant support and it has rebounded from its support odd levels. And on the weekly charts, it has breached the 100 day moving average, which has been a strong resistance for VIP, as well as the, the, uh, the, the weekly indicators uh, on the technicals are pretty strong. Uh, the, it has, it is, the indicators have gone uh, positive uh, with uh, uh, significant volume growth uh, as well on the charts. So we have a buy rating of, with a target price of about 492 odd levels with a support at about 450 odd levels signaling an upside of about 5%. Likewise, the other stock that we are positive about is Pedalite. Uh, again, this has been a stock which has been into correction for about a couple of uh, weeks uh, in the Indian markets. Uh, the, the Q2 earnings for Pedalite also has been positive. Right, as well as on the weekly charts, uh, the, it's been a positive up move. Uh, it has uh, breached the 200 day moving average on the upside, as well as the momentum indicators have been positive. Right, uh, this signals a, a positive up move for the coming uh, week for Pedalite uh, on account of good earnings. So, we have a buy rating of about with a target price of 1150 odd levels, with a stop loss at 1030 odd levels, signaling a gain of about 4%. Uh, whereas our single uh, sell recommendation is on Mothers and Sumi. Mothers and Sumi results have not been in line with estimates 
as well as the stock has been uh, under significant pressure for the past weeks. Uh, it has uh, it has breached all the support levels and gone down uh, from 200 day moving average as well as the other um, uh, as well as the other uh, um, support levels that has been for the stock. Uh, so we have a sell rating on Madison Sumi with a target price of 139 odd levels, whereas the stop loss is at 160 odd levels, signaling a gain of about 3%. So that's been our outlook on the stocks. Uh, have a good trading week. Thank you.